1880, it was a stage stop. It was a V&T stage stop. It was also a Pony Express station at one point. And it was um, a stage stop before that, like a stage stop for Wells Fargo, which started in Virginia City, the very first Wells Fargo. That's why it is, it's in Virginia City. Or as a bank, it stated as a stagecoach. Uh, it looks like a stagecoach. Well, that's it why it has stage, you know why? Because it has a stagecoach on its, on its logo. Reason being is because it was really hard to get to Virginian City up and down Gerger Grade and people kept getting robbed at a place called Robber's Roost. So they asked the stagecoach company to keep their valuables in a safe until they could get to the bottom or the top and then they sent an armored car down. That, that worked very well, but people started asking if they could just keep their normal valuables in the safes. If they could put it in a bank, basically. And that's how Wells Fargo became a bank. It segued from stagecoach into bank. We have to take four-wheel drive. Yeah, we're going to take four-wheel drive. We've got a whole quest we're doing up there. So, tell me about Steamboat Springs. Okay, so Steamboat Springs was located in 1860. Okay, now in 1862, they built a hospital on the spot right there to accommodate 34 patients. Now, it had several bathhouses, and then in the prosperous days of the Comstock, the bathhouses turned into a pleasure resort. So it was no longer a hospital, and it ended up being a pleasure resort. Now, when it was a hospital, the reason it looks like a convent is because it was run by the Sisters of Mercy, which is the nuns who ran the hospitals at the time. They also... in Virginia City. A little bit of history there. Now, when the V&T came through, the V&T Railroad, which stands for Virginia and Truckee, they, a town, a whole town sprang up there called Steamboat Springs. And it was quite the town, actually, with a school and a post office. The post office was there for a very, very long time. Um, all the rich people, all the millionaires, everyone from Virginia City had to go to Steamboat Springs. A very swanky town, actually from nearly there. There was um, an elegant two-story hotel, neatly furnished, neatly furnished. It's better than unneatly furnished. It also had a fine restaurant. It says a fine restaurant. And there was six nicely furnished, more nicely furnished, six nicely furnished cottages, Saratoga style. That's oh. awesome. Where you could have a quiet place to be. Um, the bow, so the crowning feature of the spot. A visitor from Eureka in 1879 remarked, I observed in passing that Steamboat Springs continues to puff and that sitting on the hotel porch were the usual number of old rum blossom stiffs from Virginia City, blinking their, their remy eyes at the train and doing penance for their sins on daily. Oh, wow. 